In today's video, I will show you how I hacked YouTube's snake game Easter egg and got lots of points. The first thing I needed to do was activate the YouTube snake game. I accomplished this by clicking play on the video, pausing it, dragging it back, and then I press the up and left key at the same time, several times, until the game starts. Once the game is started, the object is to eat the dots, and every time you eat a dot, of course, your snake gets longer. There is no visible score or level number. The next thing I did was open a program called Spy++. I was looking for Internet Explorer and a particular window called Macromedia Flash Player. I was also looking for this particular window handle number. With the window handle number, I was able to create a game bot using Microsoft Excel. This is where I type in the window handle number, and this particular function is used to move the snake on the window. You see I have a start option that sends the left and up keys to start the game. I also have left, right, up, and down. Now this function uses some constants, and I will give you the values of those constants right now. Here are the constants, and that's using the post message command. When I click a button in Excel, it starts the game bot, and the game bot just goes in a circle forever. The game bot allowed me to go to another window and use memory hacking software on the game, but it turns out it was a bad idea because the game bot never eats a point, so I couldn't figure out the special memory values. What I ended up doing is what you're seeing now is slow the process down and manually switching back and forth between the game. I didn't want to have to switch back and forth manually, but the game bot didn't work. So I still was able to find the important memory values that corresponded to the score and how long the snake was. Next I wanted to beat the game and get the highest score, but first I needed to display the score in order to do this. The window on the left is Microsoft Excel and that's how I peek into the memory of the game in order to display the score. The window in the middle is the memory hacking software and I was able to find the correct values for a byte in memory that pertained to the score and how long the snake was. And I just set that byte right now, and now I'm on the second to last level. I'm about to eat another point. Now I just ate another point, and I'm on the last level. Now I'm going to eat another one. And I looped over, and it actually resets the byte. Now I just ate another one, and now I'm back to 1,000. I give 1,000 points for each point eaten. I thought I had actually looped the level around and the points around, thus achieving the highest score possible, but it turns out there's more than one byte used for the score, and when I was able to manipulate those other bytes, I achieved what you're seeing here. It's a very high level, and it is a very difficult to play, that's why I've slowed it down. If you notice, at the top, you can see the tail of the snake slowly disappearing, and now I'm about to eat another point and go to even higher level and even longer snake and that's how you hack the YouTube snake game Easter egg I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time for my next hack